How you doing, everybody? We are back with the 1.8 changes. It's me and Lunathex here, and uh, there's been a lot of really cool stuff go uh, going on, from some love for Kruber in his, uh, his base weapons, to a new campaign with a really cool boss. So, Lunathex, you are the one, uh, one who's, man who's managed to play mo most of it, so why don't you take it away? Well, I'm taking the Packmaster away. So they changed oh, a few yeah. things about gameplay. Packmaster is now affected by knockback. This is great. It's like the universe is bending. <laughs> Everything about this patch so far has just been incredible, even though there's not been much. But every little bit of it's been awesome. Yeah, we've been... So initially, we could only push the Packmasters back with the Drake Fire charge attack. That was mm -hmm. a while ago. But now, now he's just... Now he flies around like the other rats. It's like, holy shit. Everything yeah. is... Everything is everything is right. It's starting to make a little bit more sense. We've actually been uh, been agitating for uh, for that change for a while now. Simply, because... I've been agitating for this one, killing clan rats. And remember when we did that video? And yeah, I was like... no, dude. I, I I was I was I was bothering Fat Shark right along with you on the on this one. It was absolutely absurd that a massive hunk of metal couldn't headshot a clan rat on. Yeah, because we had the maces doing that just fine. Because mm -hmm. they, but now we've got the two handed hammer is just kicking all sorts of ass. Now. Oh yeah. It's it's you know if not for the executioner sword this would probably be what I would be using more now. Oh that's that's what I'm gonna be using until I pick mine up. Oh good. Now yes, this is the big one. This this is the huge one. They buffed this thing so massively. Mm -hmm. I, I I I I can't even put words to describe this. Like it's better than the volleyball map. Yeah like, the the the. It, the it, the basic the basic way that I will sum this. This up, is on Cata by uh -huh. the way. This is Cata this is Cataclysm Broger right here. Just demolish this guy. And what do you think that's going to do on Nightmare or to our uh, here to unknown boss? Mm -mm -mm. Which you know, I wish I I recorded all that boss footage before I realized just how much of an advantage that you have with this repeater handgun. Now, I quite frankly think it's going to beat out the regular. Oh handgun. yeah, the way the way that I, I've been summing it up to get that to people is before. Kruber did not really have a ranged weapon that uh, that was good outside of outside of his handgun, and even that's you know mediocre. It does one thing. It's not very uh, very generally useful. Now Kruber finally has something that he and can see, take to any this, fight and not be embarrassed. And and this thing, you know, if you have rupture, you can hit three storm vermin at once. Mwah! But don't forget. You know, I st and you know three rats at once, but we still have that <laughs> boss to talk about. So the they they put a lot of effort into into their little boss here. Little little boss. Yes. <laughs> sure. There there's so many tactics and ways and strategy like you can come up with this guy, but really it was I th they were absolutely designing this around getting close with those backstab weapons. So he has seven attacks, he's on steroids, and he's extremely resilient to any ranged attack. This is basically... Except a few. Yeah, this I, I, there's so much stuff I was thinking about when I was... like, That's why I'm going to have a comment pinned from me in the, in the comment section. Absolutely. So you can block all of his attacks. That's his charge attack, blows everybody aback, away with a deceptive range. That's his lunge. He has a dive forward attack. Everything can be dodged, and everything, even the overhead cleave, which he shares with regular Storm Vermin, can be blocked. So everything can be blocked, and it does very minimal damage for it. So blocking and staying away from this guy, very important. Because the danger in this fight is not particularly from him. He has a high rate of attack, but not much damage output. It's really when he starts summoning everybody else when he gets weaker. Which is exactly the, uh, the way that it works with Roger as well. Roger himself himself is dangerous, but not overly so. The real problem com uh, comes from him being such a big target with so many free uh, freaking clan rats and slave rats around. So I noticed the volley bow is not that great, but like, it, it to go over like why every weapon is good or not good against this guy just is beyond the scope of this. We're just gonna talk about you know what he's doing right now. Mm -hmm. So you know he treat him like an ogre. You know whoever's being attacked should probably stay away. You know, you can easily anticipate and uh, juke around him, just like just like the ogre. It's no big deal. So when he hits about 70% HP, he's going to run over there, run to some corner with a shield up, and summon his posse to attack you. This is where a strength potion with a bomb is absolutely necessary to survive on Kana. Well, I'm sure people would like talk crap about me for that, but it makes everything so much easier. And the grenade radius increase trinket, very helpful in this task. Because the, the danger... Finally found a home. I mean, I always use it to kill patrols really easily. 
So don't worry, no special rats do appear in this fight. It's just him and his posse of storm vermin and many rats. Yeah, be be aware that spe uh, that special rats do not include storm vermin. There, you will have uh, have to have to bring uh, bring your A game to make sure you don't get cleaved in half by one of them. You just like his pattern is e easily recognizable after the first two games, I would say. But that's probably just me and. Like the longbow, the handguns, the repeater handgun, the brace of pistols. All you gotta do is drink a strength potion and start popping him in the head and he drops. Like, it mutilates him. But some other weapons, like the repeater pistol or the volleybow, they, his hitbox is kind of weird. That attack right there, that actually launches you up in the air, which is pretty awesome. But backstab is your best friend, strength potions are your best friend, and bombs. You know, I broke my own rule earlier, but bombs are not for him. They're for getting rid of the guys that he summons. Just by existing rats come around to fight you. Mm-hmm. Good lord. Well, it's it's cool to finally ha have a, a Skaven chieftain in here. Now we know who we've been pissing off every time we go, uh, we go out and murder a, a patrol just for no good reason. I do that all the time. People quit my game sometimes. Like, these, these little 200 people just join my game, and I throw a bomb and kill, like, 14 rats with it, and it's like, they just quit. I'm like, I'm, I'm okay, sure they sure, think I'm just cheap. I don't, I don't understand it, man. I, That's happened, like, three times in the past few months. Yeah, dude, we are here to kill rats. And we and if the bigger rats we can kill, the better we feel. <laughs> but yeah, I'll have a pinned comment showing what weapons are great against him. All you gotta do is just watch his attacks. They can all be blocked. He's very intimidating when you first fight him, no doubt, because he has a he has a kick and rad soundtrack for him. Just like any other boss, and just like a, the ogre, he'll drop given enough effort. Kill rat. 